Hi again, it's Pierre. Uh, today I've got uh, one simple little project. Uh, before I would like to share with you what I found and uh, what uh, you know what would make my life uh, in the uh, you know producing the YouTube uh, videos much uh, much easier. Before I was using this setup. Uh, now I'm using the uh, mic microphone in the camera presently. But uh, when the uh, machine works and uh, you know it's uh, noisy, I got the big uh, roto face converter, and uh, I was using this uh, little box, little lapel mic, and uh, oh, I don't know, fifteen to uh, fifteen to maybe I don't know, maybe twenty feet of wire. And um, first thing that was always happening is I was. Uh, stepping on the cord and the, everything was jumping off my uh, my neck so maybe used for my, you know other things but uh, I've been looking around for a long time and I uh, finally found something for a decent price and uh, a decent product it's a AKG uh, oh, no, I'm not gonna look the most fashionable with that little uh, head support for the microphone but since the microphone is a uh, very good quality it's uh, yeah I know it's how it looks I mean can't look any better than that and <laughs> yeah I'll shut up um, one nice feature about this it works on one double A battery it's good for uh, whoever uses it uh, says about 30 hours and uh, I could change the uh, microphone for something else it's detachable can be used like uh, you know you plug in something in there and uh, it will uh, do the job receiver is this uh, this unit there for a hundred bucks it's a nice add-on and uh, and the uh, during the project in a few minutes you'll see how uh, how it improves it Im how it improves the uh, sound quality and the, my mobility to just uh, you know stop uh, stepping on my tail. As far as the uh, machining part of the uh, episode today is concerned, uh, I'm always like late on adapting the stuff that needs to be adapted. I put my hands on the uh, on a few sets of uh, clamping clamping uh, devices. And uh, these are metric, uh, they're not exactly 100% compatible with what I already have, but if I use them just as they are, they'll be perfect. Um, this is a Tico, it's a 14.5 uh, millimeter uh, rod. These are a little bit wide, and uh, I'm not going to be able to use them in the uh, in the slots of my milling machine, which is 5 8. This is more than 5 8. And, uh, if I machine them, I'll be uh, running into the threads uh, on each side. So I'll be using at least the clamping stuff, the uh, fingers and everything with my uh, other 5 8 uh, clamping you know, set. And uh, this clamps in the, uh, in the slot. And I can use the fingers with my uh, former uh, screws and you know hardware so that's sort of this uh, problem like you know if you pay 50 bucks for a Tico set what you do you just uh, kick it in the ditch or you pick it up this is a uh, tool fast and the uh, same problem here these uh, t-nuts are a little bit too wide uh, project today will be to make them uh, fit in the 5.8 uh, slot uh, for my table in the milling machine and the, and other uh, other equipment like uh, rotary tables and everything. Uh, today I'm trying a new microphone. It's a uh, AKG uh, wireless uh, microphone. I just got a little pack in the. I don't know if you see it, but uh, I'll, I'll have occasion of showing you later. But uh, this can allow me to uh, walk around and. Uh, you know, freedom of movement in the shop without uh, stepping on the cable or just cable getting caught and uh, everything getting off my head and pockets. Uh, 
I did a few a few tries and it uh, seems pretty good and I'm just going to uh, let's say try it live now the project today simple I got those uh, tea nuts that I got with uh, some uh, old new uh, old new stuff uh, some tool fast they are metric and the um, the width here doesn't fit in my uh, my slots in, in the milling machine so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna give him a little uh, little shaving e even on each side so they fit in the uh, just like uh, this one that's been done just a few thousands of tol tolerance on each side and uh, they go good like these ones nope so I'm going to only have one at a time I don't want to uh, take a chance of one moving or uh, just lifting or uh, being taken out so uh, what I'm doing one side <coughs> turning the uh, the tina around and after that uh, just doing the other side and they get pretty symmetrical in the width and tolerance let's get there and uh, test the test the machine do the job and test the microphone Okay, we gotta be careful because those uh, bottoms are rounded up, so they have to fit uh, into the uh, the grooves here and uh, sit down nicely on the. on the parallel bars. Okay, after you did your last tapping you do not tie up the uh, device because you're gonna throw it back up and uh, we're running about 18 uh, 1800 sorry 1800 rpms using the automatic advance fast forward a little bit one direction back the other direction get this out of the way make sure we're in nicely Tapping. One cut again. I'm getting a few hot chips right on me. Just finished cut. Just that's called a spring, uh, just a spring cut. I'm not giving any. Uh, any meat uh, let's see what it does nice fit next one I'm not going to mount more than one just in case they're not exactly the same dimensions and uh, but I get uh, you know, something lifted by the uh, the end mill or something. I think that one is much harder. That one's softer. <laughs> You just hear the sound and you know there's a difference. Your machine should sound a little bit like a CNC machine with that growling sound. It means you're working more efficient. 
I don't know if you'll make out the sound because this one is harder, much harder than the other ones. I'll test it after. Chips are coming out more uh, on the darker side. <clears throat> this is another hard one. That's a nice little job done. I measured the uh, the one that was sounding uh, a little harsher to cut. They're more like uh, 30 to 31 Rockwell C uh, hardness instead of 20. And uh, if you listen to your machines and your uh, your equipment and your uh, you're getting used to the cutting and everything, and you know you know something's going on. And uh, I mean you you find them out. Okay, so that's uh, that's this is working and. Uh, Let's go. Uh, let's go home for supper. The wife's in there, waiting for me, and she's probably hungry like a bear or so. And uh, contrary to the guys, I can't feed her just peanuts. She's gonna get my nuts and the. Uh, <laughs>